is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back with another ranked video as you guys can see we're on tierlist.com and today we are ranking the greatest masked wrestler of all time we got Rey Mysterio in the house 619 as you guys can see man has had a lot of elite figures over the years I actually thought there was more but it seems like back in the day even now you know he, he was in WWE and then he left and we were like 30 series without a Rey Mysterio he came back and they started plopping him out right again like he never left and I gotta be honest with you, I think it's fantastic. I love his figures, and I'm happy today to get to the rankings of them. As you guys know, let's start it off with our tier list over here. You got Go Buy It, which is the greatest. You know, if, if I put it there, you go on eBay, you purchase that hoe. Next up, you have Good Figure, which is, you know, not quite Go Buy It worthy, but it's a solid good figure. You got Meh, where it's just like, yeah, it's okay, I guess. You got Barely Acceptable, or it's like, Jesus Christ, man, this close to being garbage. And then you have Utter Garbage, and we'll see if we got any figures in there today. But I got all the figures ready to go. I'm excited to do this. I love these videos. They're very fun to do. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and rank all of Rey Mysterio's elite figures. And we're starting things off with the WrestleMania 35 2-pack, which featured two figures, actually. So if you buy this figure, you may be able to get it on eBay by itself. But I think that uh, I'd say get them both because Samoa Joe in that pack with him is great. But this figure right here is absolutely go buy it. It's 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 so much details. It's got so much deco on it. One thing that may be wrong with it is the head sculpt may be a little bit big, but that figure right there is absolutely fantastic, and I gotta put it at the top. I mean, there's no other way to put it than go buy it. It's so nice. It looks so good. And again, maybe a little bit could change about it, but it's, free. it's so beautiful to look at up on the shelf. So I had to put it there. Next up, guys, we have the WrestleMania 26 figure, and I think this is supposed to be based on Avatar. I think it's an Avatar-inspired gear where he took on CM Punk at WrestleMania. He had the G.I. Joe gear himself. Really strong figure. I like this figure a lot. I'm trying to figure out if I want it in the Go Buy It or the Good Figure because it does have, it. you know, it has the old stuff. You know what? I'm going to... Uh... Let's put it in good figure for now. We'll put it in good figure, and we possibly could come back to it. But good figure, nonetheless, that Rey Mysterio is God tier. Which leads us into our next figure, which is a really old Rey Mysterio. May even be the second or third one ever made. It is the ringside exclusive Flash Rey Mysterio. This one's fantastic. I'm putting it in the go buy it. So sick, man. You got a Flash-inspired gear just like the Mysterio Rey Mysterio. This one's super sick. I'm glad that Mattel was even able to make these figures for us because these are great. I really enjoy both of these figures right here. Great details with it. Ultimate looking. I think that's from WrestleMania 20. Beautiful looking figure. Great figure. Go go buy that hoe. It's, it's freaking fantastic. Let's go up to the Survivor Series figure, okay? Survivor Series. Survivor Series. Well, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. The Network Spotlight target exclusive figure this one is kind of tough because this is actually a re-release of the elite 15 Rey Mysterio that had the purple leg and then it had the yellow leg and I think I like it better than the purple version but at the same time it's a re-release so I think I'm gonna put it in meh for now for for now you know it could go down it could move up a little I don't know it's almost barely acceptable because it's a color change but I like the color change so I want to put it in the meh so I'm going to go with that. Let's move on to the Elite One. Now, this one's kind of controversial for me because every Rey Mysterio that I've owned of the Elite Five and before, usually the early figures especially, they have that stiff AF leg figure. But this is 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 the first one. You know, it's the first one to come with some good accessories. It's got a cloth t-shirt. I'm going to go meh for now just because I don't, I'm not big on the purple and black. I, I really like his colorful attires. And, I don't know, this one just seems a bit muted or something like that. So, I am going to put it in meh for now. The Elite 72 is freaking fantastic. I love that figure. I would put that even above that. I actually think this may be his best figure, but it doesn't have all the details of that. I'm going to go second best just because I love that Mysterio one, man. Even though the head sculpt's a little big, I, the Elite 72 is got here. It was one of the better figures of last year. If you guys don't own that yet, you can probably get it for a really good price right now. So definitely go get Elite 72 Rey Mysterio. That one right there, you cannot go wrong with, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go with the Elite 67. No, Elite 69. This is Elite 69 Rey Mysterio. This one is sort of hard because he had really massive hands. And his head sculpt was crappy to me, but I really like the attire and the body on it. So it's kind of difficult. Let's go... Uh, 
This one's difficult, man, because I really, I like the attire. It does have that underwear look, but it had massive hands and a massive head sculpt on it. And it's really good once you switch it. So I'm going to go meh. I'm going to go above the Elite one, and I'm going to go meh for now. So moving on, guys, we do have the Elite 67 Rey Mysterio, and I really do love this attire. I think it's great. Again, it did have a big hand problem, but... The figures are so damn good to pose around. I think it's a good figure. It's better than this one. It can pose around with the best of them. I like the attires from his WCW days. And it is a good figure, man. I mean, even if you switch out the hands for black gloves, if you switch them out for white gloves, if you just switch them out for smaller Rey Mysterio hands than the interchangeable ones that they came with, still a really strong figure, man. Really, really good figure that I enjoy to this day. Super poseable and stuff like that. So I would say good figure there. Elite 32 Rey Mysterio. This one's actually another throwback Rey Mysterio, and I really don't know where I want to put it. I've only owned it once, and I used it to make a, uh, a Leo Rush Elite, so honestly, it's kind of hard to judge. I would say I'm going to go... Ooh, I'm going to go good figure. I'm going to go good figure on it. That's the way I'm doing it. Whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm going... What? Yeah, good figure. I like the, the white and everything on it. I like the gauntlets and stuff. It's a good figure. It can pose with the best of them just like that. So I am going to go there. We have no barely acceptable or garbage thus far, which is pretty shocking because usually, you know, we'll get one in the garbage or something. But let's move on and see if we'll get one that enters that tier. Let's move on to the Elite 24 Rey Mysterio. This one is God tier. I like this one a lot. It's not the best one of all time, but it is really good. I probably it's 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 more poseable than the flash ray mysterio but do i like the attire more it's the days of the dead ray mysterio sort of halloween-esque really good figure man i freaking love that figure i'm gonna put it just under or just above the flash figure for now um just because it's really po i really love the attire man it's just it's a really good figure it looks like a skull over the mask it's sick as hell i like that one a lot let's move on to the elite 21 ray mysterio and this one, I'm going to put in Barely Acceptable. I, I really wasn't feeling this figure that much. I don't like the attire that much. The head sculpt wasn't my favorite either. It has that same Elite 69 head sculpt on it, and uh, it's just repainted or whatever. And I, for whatever reason, I'm just not into it. It's, it's to me, I guess. And the hands were really, it had like the choke slam hands, which was kind of crappy. And I know this one did, but this one looked badass, man. You can't you can't go wrong with that one right there. I'm going to put it in Barely Acceptable for now. Let's move on to the Elite 18. I think the Elite 18, for what it is, um, it's basically just a repaint of the, uh, the Elite 15, which we're going to cover next. But I think it's still solid, but I'm going to go meh. I'm going to go meh on it. It's, you know, it's solid. It's not the greatest, but it's not horrible. And uh, I, I'll put it in the meh section for now. It's, it, it, it is what it is, Brad. It is what it is. I love when they come with all these accessories, though. That's pretty, that's pretty dope when they give us all these cool accessories. Moving forward, guys, we do have the Elite 15. And this one's a good figure. I like this one a lot. Uh, it was the first of its kind. It was the first figure that had that new body mold, that new mold that we would get moving forward with the, the, you know, the 15, the Network Spotlight, the 18, the Elite 24, the Elite 21, set the standard, bigger torso, bigger arms, just a better body mold for Rey Mysterio, even though I like the one we use now a little bit better, which is sort of a combined effort between them both. So I, I don't really know. It's kind of hard to say. But based on that figure, I do like the Elite 15. And it's actually pretty sought after, I think. I don't know about with the re-release of this one now. But I do know at the time, this one was uh, pretty popular. And a lot of people were uh, searching for that hoe. Um, which leads us into the next three, which are early series. We have the Elite 13 and the Elite 11, which are very similar, guys. This is a just jacked up reissue of the elite 11 just with a white pants leg and honestly i like the white pants leg better than the elite 11 but i think it's ah oh god it's it i gotta go barely acceptable because it's a it's a straight up repaint but i like the repaint that's the same thing with the elite 15 and this i gotta go meh on it but i like the all black of the bear of the of the elite 11 so this one this right here is super difficult for me to be honest with you i don't know if i want to put like this you know so it's like meh but like the white on black is better than the black but i like the black but it's like that but then again if i put that above that does that make that one meh when i like this attire better i don't know i did the same thing here i i, I don't i don't freaking know man that's kind of difficult for me to choose right there but that all leads us to our last figure which is the the Elite 5, and this one, I really like the colors on it, I really do, it's another early release, which uh, came, this is the Elite 5, so it came after the Elite 1 right here, 
and I can't put it in the garbage. I don't think we have any garbage Rey Mysterios. Now, if we were going based on articulation, a lot of them would probably be in there, at least all the ones that have this pants mold, if we were going based off of only articulation. But uh, some of these just have such good attires, and they look so good, and they, you know, they just are such a precious figure when you look at the details of it. But I really, I don't know where to put this one. I honestly want to put it in good figure because I like the attire so much. It comes with the blue cloth t-shirt. I'm going to go good figure, but it's not as good as this one or the rest of them. I just like the all black. I don't know what it is. I like the all black there with your, uh, with your Mexican colorway there. Just a really strong figure overall. And I think that is it for our Rey Mysterio rankings. I don't think... I wrote them all down here. You got Elite 1, Elite 5, Elite 11, Elite 13, Elite 15, Elite 18, Elite 21, Elite 24, Elite 32, Elite 67, Elite 69, Elite 72, Network Spotlight, WrestleMania 35 2-Pack, Ringside Exclusive, and WrestleMania Elite 26, or WrestleMania 26 Elite. I think that's all of them. Again, maybe you could switch out a few here and there. Um, I really, I think Go Buy It right here, these four are phenomenal, and they may have dropped in price since he returned to the company. I know when he left, um, they were really expensive, and then when he came back, they were really expensive, but now that he's been there a few, you know, for a while, and then he's, uh, you know, he's got more figures and stuff, maybe they dropped in price. I love all his basics. This man has so many damn basics. He probably has a hundred basic figures. And if we were to rank those, we'd be sitting here for hours upon hours. But I had a lot of them. I tracked them down when he wasn't with the company because I wanted to do some fantasy attires. I did some switching around. That was really fun. And I'll probably do that again because that was super fun to do. But I guess the the worst Elite, in my personal opinion, is the Elite 21. And it's not even that bad. I did a fix-up on mine where we had, like, the Harley Quinn. We were sw I had, like, one red glove, one blue glove, one... Uh, I, I don't know. I was switching stuff out left and right, but... I think that is going to do it for this ranking video of all the Rey Mysterio Elite figures, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below on how you would rank these figures. I would really appreciate it, but I'm going to get the hell out of here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Recommend what figure you would like, or what guy, what Elite figures I should rank next. Randy Orton, AJ Styles, Undertaker. You let me know. I'll definitely rank them. It needs to be somebody that has quite a few, like Rey Mysterio, Rollins, and Cena. But if you leave us a comment, we'll eventually get to them, guys. But anyways, thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.